Hello everybody, this is Tech Stack here, and this is night six, I believe, um, of the thousand nights of UHC mode. Um, I'm going to start off this episode adding those windows we were talking about, and in fact, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a creeper check and stuff here. It's looking somewhat safe. Um, be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, made the new mistake of not checking my microphone level. Um, wanted to make sure it was uh, loud enough for you guys to hear. Okay, let's take those out and do this. Okay. So now, where is the sun at even? Oh, wow. We are middle of the day already. Um, that's crazy. Um, you haven't really missed out on anything recording-wise. Um, I took like a two-second break there to uh, check the uh, microphone level so that that isn't the cause of that um, probably I'd say the cause of that is the fact that uh, the last couple episodes kind of ran over uh, I do apologize for that um, it's kind of hard to tell when you're underground as to where the time is <laughs> um, so in order to compensate for that we'll probably have to make this a little bit of a shorter episode or, or have to spend some more time Closer to the surface here, uh, towards the end of it. Um, let's see. We've been doing a pretty good job of clearing back these trees and, and such. Um, let's go up here and take this one out. Um, it's pretty, still pretty close. It's about the closest one we have to our, our mini base there. Um, yeah. The... Seeing how it's middle of the day, I probably won't have time to do it in this day, but we're probably going to start work on a base or a tower or something up here where we can call a more permanent home, um, at least for the first couple hundred days <laughs> uh, um, of this series, because we need to be able to uh, stay in this region. Like I said, I want to test out how that works as far as, you know, just generally spending most of your time in one area, and of course our X breaks. Um, let's go ahead and make another one. But at the same time, I, I don't like this one. It's too small. It's in a bad spot. And I, I would think that that's close enough. Um, also, the other negative thing of this is I cannot see the sun at all. <laughs> Even with these windows, you know, when it rises at first, I have to wait till it's over that hill pretty much to officially see that it's truly sunrise. And I know I, know I can see the color changes and all that. Um, let's see here. What can we make this with? Let's do a stone one still. Um, unfortunately, we're still using stone tools. We've got, um, looks like a little bit of iron still on me here from last episode. I did not realize. Um, let's go ahead and get that cooking up so we can make our boots. And probably some stone, some more iron tools then. Um, that'll come in handy. We also need to work on our food supply. Let's check on our farm. I see we have at least one more piece of wheat ready to go. We got one on us. Playing in UHC mode seems to be um, hard to find food, um, believe it or not. Um, ooh, lots of lag going on here. Oh, okay. Well... I know what the cause of that is. Um, I'm copying all these uh, videos I've been making over, over to uh, uh, the drive on my network here, so it's causing a little bit of occasional lag when it switches files, I think. Okay. Um, anyway, the reason I was saying that it's kind of hard to find food is you're a little bit more cautious about what you do as far as uh, exploring, and it's making me not you know, go out, find cows, and bring them back, because I might take damage doing that. So you have to kind of use the caution approach to everything here. Let's see. Okay, we're good there. Let's get all this seed here, if there's any in it to be had. And then let's, because that's going to annoy me there. Let's take these trees down. So, like I said in the last episode, um, I haven't uploaded any of these videos yet. I haven't said that, but um, 
when I do start, they'll probably start every day. Um, I just wanted to get a good supply of videos uh, backlog made up so that once I start this, I can keep it going every day without any problems. Um, because for me, I can't always record every single day. Like sometimes on the weekend, if we get real busy, I'm not home and just really can't find the time to do it, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just, you know, over the last three days here, are, I'm up to episode six already. If that gives you any feel for how fast I can record these. Usually play slash record for about an hour a day in the mornings before work. Um, that's probably why you hear a little bit of a morning voice on me. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and cut this one down too. We got some more time here. Um, but yeah, like I said, once I get a, a nice backlog built up, and this might be the end of that backlog after today, um, I'll start working on an intro for all these, and then once that's complete, uh, I'll be uh, uploading to YouTube on a daily basis, um, so that you guys have some regular content coming from me. Um, regular vanilla content at that, which is unusual for text deck. Um, let's get some light on the back of this place so we don't have to worry about mobs in the back every morning. And let's make that look just a tiny bit better. Okay. More seats, please. You can see my hot bar there. Oh, mobs are going to start spawning. Let's start lighting up this outside area perimeter just so we don't have as much of a problem in the mornings when we come out of this place. Eventually this whole hill will be lit up every single morning. Okay, and if it's night now, let's see, I've been recording about seven minutes, so we missed about the first three, and three, three, three and a half minutes of this uh, episode, unfortunately. I do apologize for that. I'm getting better, I hope, <laughs> with time as far as that's concerned. Um, because I've got a little timer program running on my tablet now. Uh, the one on my phone didn't work out so well. We found out last episode. It's kind of a piece of junk. Um, just because it went off and I had no visual indication that it went off because I had it on mute so you wouldn't hear it on the video. Yeah, just a bad combination, basically. <laughs> so, anyway, we're seven minutes in. We need to go what, another ten minutes, so 17 minutes in. I should be able to stop this thing. Man, my cave system down here is kind of getting crazy. Was this the way I was going? No, that's the water. I thought I started branch mining. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did. Duh. I wanted to get down towards gold. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry, guys. I know you're probably like, duh. <laughs> But uh, it's been a day. My memory's not the best. I forgot what I was doing over here. We were talking about, yep, digging this out, see if there's anything behind it. And there is, luckily. Hopefully this is not where the skeleton sounds are coming from. I can hear one. Let's get some more blocks on the hot bar just in case. We do not want to take any more damage than we already have. Didn't even want to take what we did so far because we have not found a piece of gold. Let's check our level. We are at 37. We are within range of gold. So come on, gold. Ugh. Nothing. Let's see if it extends over this way. I doubt it. Although I am hearing that skeleton. We're going to have plenty of gravel when this is done. And we almost expanded or explored this. Just want to see if there's anything over in that direction. I really doubt it because we're kind of going back towards that other cave area. Yeah. There's already a few more torches. Okay, so we're going to have to find another place to explore as far as this is concerned. Um, stinks because I, I know that ravine probably has all sorts of goodies in it but it has all sorts of nasties in it too I'm sure 
and this skeleton sound is just not playing well with me. Um, right now we are pr pretty oh, vulnerable to his fire, especially hanging out over the edge like that. He could have shot me. Um, so let's go ahead and take a uh, a detour off this way, I guess. We down low enough still? Yeah, 36. Let's head this way. We'll, we'll kind of parallel this uh, ravine here and see what other um, caves might be at this level. Hopefully we can find some here before we run completely out of hunger and have to start eating all of our uh, apples we have on us, which is just two. Um, I guess once we get to that point, we'll definitely have to head back up. Hmm. And we're, we're, we're making it too dark here. There we go. Come on, gold. Come on, anything useful. <laughs> We have not been having, I know we found the diamonds, but we haven't been having the best success with, with caving. Let's face it, um, it's just been pretty barren down here. We've got a little bit of iron, so we've had, you know, almost a full set of our iron armor. And we do have the, I'm hearing lava around me. Uh, we do have the iron upstairs to finish this set of armor. But we just need a lot more. You know, I would probably uh, like to get into using the hoppers and things like that in vanilla. Um, I come from Feed the Beast mostly. Um, basically, since 147, I haven't really played vanilla except for this. So I'd like to explore all these new contraptions that they've added in that really came from the mods first, which is kind of funny. Um, there is a hopper in... Uh, feed the beast and it, it's I'll be honest it's very handy um, in that version of Minecraft you know feed the beast it uh, is basically used to feed the machines that they have in there so I was kind of surprised when they added hoppers to vanilla because you don't have the same level of machines I guess it is that um, you do in feed the beast um, so needing to be able to, uh, or needing a hopper to, f to feed your furnace just kind of seemed silly to me at first. But then I started thinking about, you know, how they've done it. And, you know, you can basically just throw things at it and it picks them up off the ground. You know, that works great for a chicken farm and that kind of thing. So, you know, I would imagine it'd be also very good, you know, if you had a mob system, just throw a hopper at the bottom of the, the drop pit and it'll pick up all the drops and throw them in a chest for you. That kind of thing, so they don't despawn. So it, it sounds like it's a pretty interesting addition to the game, um, the way that they've done it in vanilla. Uh, one of the other things is uh, the daylight sensor piece. You know, that was in a mod. It's not used very often because you usually don't need a daylight sensor. But uh, for me, uh, doing this, this uh, game mode in particular, that might be something that's really handy. And I'm hearing a lot of spiders around me. Hopefully they are not cave spiders. If they are cave spiders, we are going to block this thing off and just turn and run. <laughs> uh, go the other direction, because cave spiders, before I have any types of potion of healing, will be devastating to us. Um, even with golden apples, that's just not enough. Um, you need a, a better healing method than that uh, to handle those guys, because the amount of damage they can deal with that poison... It's just ridiculous. You know, they'll take you down to half a heart, basically, if you're not um, not careful. Now, as an alternate to that, if we had a bucket of milk on us, we might be able to handle it a little better once we're in a better position, you know, armored up fully. Uh, probably diamond armor at that point would be best with enchantments. Um, along with... Um, hmm trying to cut into the ravine to see what's see what's available to us but i think we've just gone past the ravine so let's go ahead and circle back this way i guess nope 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 we're gonna head back up um one we're kind of getting close to morning not that close though two we have one little uh 
What do you want to call it? Chicken leg on our uh, food bar there. We need to get up top, have access to more food. I'm going to go ahead and eat an apple before we uh, die on the way up. Uh, take damage, that is. Um, yeah. Food needs to be our number one priority, I think. Uh, a steady food supply. Let me go this way. Yeah. Even just this is going to deplete my, my saturation, probably jumping all this time to get up top. Okay, and it's next morning. Uh, we've survived night six on the thousand nights of uh, UHC mode. See you next time. Bye now.